Good afternoon, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great Sunday uh, today here. Uh, we are going to be discussing a very active, severe weather pattern ahead, a overall weather pattern ahead here, including we're going to be talking about Tropical Storm Alex, which is formed here just off the coast of Florida. Now, first, I want to thank you guys for all the support lately. We're almost to the big milestone of 20,000 subscribers. So I want you guys to, uh, if you're not subscribed yet, Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We're only 40 away, so it'll be very much appreciated. However, let's get back to weather. This is uh, today's severe thunderstorm outlook, which we do have an enhanced risk for severe weather. This is including portions of Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. Uh, we also have a slight risk around that and also a marginal. And that's going to be some very widespread severe weather expected throughout this afternoon and evening. All right. So here's a tornado risk for today, which we do have a 5% chance, not a big chance. But we do, in fact, have a widespread 5% chance of, of tornadoes here in Oklahoma, Kansas, and Nebraska. We also have a very widespread area of a 2% risk of tornadoes uh, just because these storms are going to be so clustered. And in some spots of the storms, there may be middle cyclones, which can uh, produce tornadoes. So that's where, why there is that risk for uh, those spinny tornadoes. So as you can see, here's the winners. We do have a 30% chance here with a significant risk for winds and upwards of 75 miles per hour. Some very damaging storms are likely tonight. And also for hail, we have a big chance for some gorilla sized teal. So very large teal expected in the hatched and 30% chance region here. So definitely uh, have a plan of action uh, when these storms do impact you, if they are even going to impact you. Uh, but this is also going to be headed overnight across portions of Missouri and Arkansas. So really keep a close eye on that. Here's a future radar throughout today here. We are going to be starting off around 4 p.m. or so when storms are expected to, to fire here. This is central time. So uh, most of these days here are going to be in central time. More of the western areas may be in mountain daylight time. So just FYI, FYI there. Around 5 p.m. to this afternoon, we are expecting some storms to fire up there in Nebraska. However, when we head forward into more of 6 p.m., we're going to constantly see more and more storms develop. So uh, this is as we head throughout 7 p.m., so a little more of those evening hours. We are starting to see some more widespread storms start to pop up here. They are going to be starting off as supercells, so more capable of those tornadoes. But they are going to be become a lot more clustered here, more linear throughout the night. This is going to be about 9 p.m. here. And as we head throughout 10 p.m., maybe a supercell or two over there. And those that may be tornadic up there in Oklahoma near the border of Kansas. I would definitely watch out for that one. Uh, and as you can see, we had four. Their overall is just very clustered. But you get to around 1 a.m. or so. And these storms definitely become a lot more widespread, more linear as that cold front moves in. Uh, there's that low pressure down there, 994 millibars. Quite the strong a low pressure there and look at how clustered those storms are by 3 a.m a very stormy night there for southeastern uh, kansas into uh, now northeastern oklahoma so near the tulsa area very intense storms for tomorrow morning 5 a.m you're going to be woken up by these for sure uh these storms are definitely not going to be playing around they are going to be very strong here with those damaging winds and as i head towards the little rock area fort smith is going to be seeing some very damaging winds heavy rainfall as well around 7 a.m tomorrow morning and that even heads throughout 8 a.m 9 a.m still some strong storms heading throughout arkansas missouri and that even redevelops a little bit throughout the afternoon hours of uh, june 6th so monday still very strong storms that head throughout the area still some damaging winds uh, related with that mcs uh, as that heads throughout the ohio valley and it's tomorrow Tomorrow, there's more severe weather expected. I don't think it's going to be as intense as today's, but we'll keep an eye on it. Like I said, we did get Tropical Storm Alex, which which did, did just form around 1 a.m. of last night. So uh, there is Alex right there. Uh, we did do a live stream of uh, kind of tropical storm cams around southwestern Florida and even including Key West uh, for 12 hours or so. And uh, it was the thumbnail so tropical storm alex it was actually expecting uh, for it to be named over here north of cuba however due to a lot of that wind shear that didn't happen there was still a potential tropical cyclone uh, and just didn't get named yet so uh but we do have alex now uh just to verify that uh and that we do have 65 mile per hour wind gusts this may even become a hurricane this might become a hurricane alex first hurricane of the season in the atlantic 
uh here so here's that cone uh, really not much to be impacted here but bermuda i would watch out for this you could definitely see some damage and winds from this even hurricane force winds uh, across the Bermuda region here. Again, it's a very tiny island out in the Atlantic. So these types of storms can literally go around it. They could impact it directly. So just watch out for this one because it'll be coming quite close to Bermuda. Uh, as you do have the tropical storm warning in effect, or, okay, so we have a very large swath of a tropical storm of uh, force winds here in the yellow, and that means uh, due to that big, uh, it's such a big swath, there's enough room there for hurricane force winds, so I do think this might become a hurricane, especially with the ingredients it is in, there's still a lot of wind shear across the region, however, um, there's not a there's not land, so it's gonna have a better time developing here. And we just saw 45 mile per hour winds last night, and it's now at 65 miles per hour, so it's rapidly strengthening. I do think it has a decent chance for hurricane force winds across the Bermuda region. Uh, tropical storm force wind speed probabilities for Bermuda is around a 60 to 70 percent chance here. And as we look at the hurricane wind speed probability, that is a zero percent chance right now. Uh, however, as you can see, it's 65 miles per hour right now, uh, but as you can see, it is 74 miles per hour in order for it to become hurricane force winds. So we're getting there. We're getting there. I'm not saying it's going to be hurricane force winds, but I'm just saying it is possible um, as a heads up towards Bermuda. Well, Bermuda may not see hurricane force winds, uh, but uh, somewhere in the Atlantic here around these areas may see hurricane force winds. Uh, if it does have time to strengthen enough into a hurricane as you saw in the thumbnail we do have a rip current risk from tropical storm alex uh, targeting a, a lot of the southeastern coast and there it is uh, for jacksonville beach areas uh, charleston wilmington virginia beach here savannah georgia charleston again uh, you are going to see a, a decent a big rip current risk from tropical storm alex due to that circulation here a very strong circulation in the, in the atlantic ocean and this is usually what happens during hurricane season because uh, since these storms come so close to uh, the united states it brings a much uh, a much bigger risk to the coastline not even making it close to the u.s because you see a lot of fish storms a lot uh, during the the tropical weather season and uh and they don't even come close to the united states but since they're so strong they do bring a big time rip current risk which are is again uh rip currents are definitely quite dangerous so you need to watch out for them if you do live across these areas or since it is the weekend there is still a rip current risk today uh, and that may even go through monday or tuesday so uh just uh keep watching those if you do live along those beaches uh, as you do have that rip current risk. If you did enjoy the update on the uh, recent weather and upcoming weather, I may have more detailed. I might have some uh, information on the next uh, pattern coming up for tomorrow's video. So stay tuned for that. However, share this video with any friends or family, like this video, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you are new so you won't miss a single update or live stream on anything daily weather wise, anything extreme weather wise across the United States. I will cover it. Uh, but as always, I'll see you in the next one and stay safe.